Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapos, joining you this time around for case number 20 for this learning and teaching engagement. And before we get to start, I'd like to ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We are so successful about doing this project that we have decided to increase the scholarships to 300 for this year. Because in the past two years, we were able to achieve more than 100 nurses per year for two consecutive years. So this time around, we'd like to increase it to 300 nurses. To help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. And thank you so much for doing so. And thank you to this lady who gave 20,000 anonymously in order to keep our scholarship program going. So before we continue, I'd like to make this public advisory that Dr. Ray Agapus and the mentors of the Ray Agapus Review System are not part of another center named Gapus Review or Gapus Review Academy. So we're not the same. So those of you who would want to see me, please look for my full name that's supposed to be Ray A. Gapus Review System. So if you don't see any one of us in your class, then that's not a Ray Gapus System class. Take note, all our mentors at Ray Gapus Philippines, of course, we have other mentors in other countries where, where we service nurses and we're present in 35 countries and counting. Thank you very much for the trust. So we have our promo, get a free review from us if you process your NCLEX RN application with ITAPS GAPUS. It's the official processing arm of the Ray A GAPUS review system. And here's a good news from Mary Jane Elefante, USRN, who passed the test last July 27, 2024, and processed her papers through ITAPS. And this is what she would want to tell us, Lord, it was you, not me. Yan ang unang bulong ko sa sarili ko right after my exam. Thank you, Lord, for your countless blessings and your love that never fails. You are so good, Lord. Thank you. Thank you din sa family ko na laging nandyan para supportan ako at sa tiwala na kayo at sa tiwala na kaya ko. Okay? Sa aking dalawang Deshis, Lizzie, and March, my study buddies, sa seryosohan at katatawanan, napakalaking tulong ang mapampagising yung topics na mas matapang pa sa kape. Sa lahat po ng mga nagdasal para maging successful ang exam ko, maraming salamat po and God bless us all. To my husband Alexander, ito ang number one fanatic ko. Salamat sa ever early morning Sunday church routine natin na may kasamang pa-breakfast. Thank you for always reminding me na kailangan magpahinga kapag pagod na sa pag-review. Salamat sa pagtitimpla ng kape. Ang <laughs> sweet naman. For my late evening and early morning po yan. Okay, hindi naging madali ang NCLEX journey ko kasi it has been very long time since I graduated from college which leaves me afraid to take the exam. Pero sabi nga nila, Kung gusto, may paraan. Kung ayaw, may dahilan. So ayun, I needed to give up my current work para makapag-focus sa pag-review. That's your success recipe. Okay? You have to give up to move up. And thank you, Gapus, for processing my NCLEX requirements. Hindi ko na kinailangan pang magsayang ng oras para gawin ang mga processing. Instead, ginamit ko yung mga oras na yon para mag-review. Dahil po sa inyo, nagkaroon na ako ng peace of mind para makapag-focus sa pag-review. Maraming maraming salamat po for your speedy action and replies. And to Ma'am Diana and Ma'am Faith, thank you so much sa pangungulit, sa pag-comply sa mga requirements po. Dahil po sa inyo, maging nabilis ang processing po. Thank you and God bless. Remember, Padre Gapo System, ITAPS, International Test Applications Processing Services, we process your NPEX application faster and at a more affordable rate of, we start at 45000 and we do it faster in two to three months. Plus, you get a free review if you process your papers with us. So, on to our next generation NCLEX RN case number 20. But before that, let me say congratulations to Karin Joy Villarreal of the La Salle Health Sciences Institute who passed the um, New York Next Generation exam. Last August 28, 2024. Congratulations, Karen, and thank you very much for your trust. 
And this is what she says. I'm forever grateful to Sir Ray and to the whole Ray Agapas Review System team for guiding me throughout my NCLEX journey. I know I can't make it without your help and unwavering support. I'm always proud to be a Ray Agapas baby. From PNLE to NCLEX, I attended two comprehensive reviews, one boot camp, three face-to-face -face quick fix, answered activities on Core Shell, watched Sir Ray's YouTube videos, and read the book, especially NCLEX D11, the old and the new edition, two days before my exam. Wow. She followed the success recipe we gave her to a team. And take note, you get all of this through our package with no additional cost. All the strategies and concepts that I learned helped me pass the exam. I felt so nervous when my computer didn't shut that off at 85th question. But then I remember Saray always telling us, Wag pang ng loob, ilaban nyo lang. So I continued answering the questions until my computer shuts off at 100 items. And I pray... I surrender everything to you, O oh Lord. My heartfelt thanks to ITAPS Gapu, so she process also with us, special to Miss Faith for being supportive and accommodating from the start of my NCLEX processing up to the release of my quick results. Highly recommended for fast and hassle-free processing of documents. To my family and friends, my prayer warriors, thank you for an ending love and support. To my colleagues, just believe you are next. And trust the Ray A. Gapas Review System. You are on the right path. Thank you so much for those very kind words. Karen Joy, most of all, to the Almighty Father or Almighty God, thank you for answering my prayer. I am now finally a USRN. And that's Karen Joy Villarreal from De La Salle Health Sciences Institute. On to our NPEX RN alert for this case study. We're going to talk about gastritis. And of course, the best way to recall concepts would be through our method, the functional concept. So gastritis is the inflammation of the lining of the stomach. Therefore, any drug that could potentially irritate an inflamed GI lining is considered contraindicated, like your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents like aspirin that could potentially cause bleeding and the ibuprofen or Motrin. Those two medications could potentially worsen the pain. Now remember, if a condition ends in itis, like pancreatitis, gastritis, colitis, you have an inflammatory condition. And the best way to promote recovery is to promote rest. How do you promote rest in the GIT? Keep the client initially MPO. That should be your priority, whether the case is gastritis, colitis, or pancreatitis. Okay? So gastritis could be acute or it can also be chronic. It can be associated with, remember the code SAD, smoking and stress that increases secretion of hydrochloric acid, alcoholism and autoimmune conditions, and of course, the use of a specific drug like your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent. So the symptoms of gastritis includes, remember, ban, so bloating, you feel full even if you've not really eaten, blocked blood in the stools, which could mean that there's um, bleeding in the upper GIT and the blood could have been partially digested that accounts for the blood color and of course um, a blood vomitus or coffee ground vomitus as they describe it and this could mean that there's digested blood in your vomitus. Then heartburn, anorexia and abdominal pain and nausea. Remember ban. So gastritis can be diagnosed with upper GI series and the upper endoscopy with biopsy, which entails visualization of the upper GI tract. Now, usually that's treated with bismuth subsalicylate. Now pay particular attention to the fact that your bismuth subsalicylate helps decrease the inflammation of the stomach. And then of course, combination of antacids and antibiotics like clarithromycin, sucralfate that coats the GIT, so it serves as a protectant, antacids like cimetidine that decreases the secretion of hydrochloric acids, antiemetics like ondansetron that manages the vomiting, and proton pump inhibitors like ezomeprazole, which also helps control acid secretion. So remember, B-A-S-A-P, like b asa bismuth subsalicylate, antibiotics, sucralfate, antacids, and proton pump inhibitors. And before we proceed to apply those functional concepts that we just discussed, let me share with you what Anj here have given me as an answer when I asked her the question, which book helped you the most? And she says, 311 po ang binasa ko and three times 
po ako ng concept, which simply means she read the book from cover to cover at least thrice. And they usually read it on the week of their test. So this is the secret weapon of all NGM passers from more than 30 countries worldwide. So here we go for our case number 20, a 33-year-old male six consult for abdominal pain and blocked stool. So this should tell us that since there's an abdominal pain, we could very well figure out that the client could be having an inflammatory action and blocked stools could mean that the client could be having upper J bleeding. He tells the nurse that this occurred after he was treated for traveler's diarrhea. Now, traveler's diarrhea is common to those travelers to rural areas. So this is associated with gergesis. And that tells us therefore that the client could be having an infectious condition that could have worsened the client's abdominal pain. Now, which medication that the client is taking should the nurse need to clarify with the healthcare provider? The important phrase here that you have to focus on would be the phrase need to clarify, which simply means which one is not helping the client's condition. Is it one on Dancitron, that's an antimetic, ibuprofen, that's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agent, clarithromycin, which is an antibiotic, and esomeprazole, which is a proton pump inhibitor. Among those that we've discussed, we agreed a while back that your non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents could potentially worsen the bleeding in a client with gastritis. So the answer to this question, which one needs to be clarified to the healthcare provider would be ibuprofen. So may I invite you to join my 10-day challenge for you to pass the NGM through my 10-day Quick Fix Bootcamp, and it's going to be at our new home in Baguio, Mount Crest Hotel from November 13 to 24, 2024, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. in Baguio City. And join our hundreds of thousands and passers of passers from more than 30 countries worldwide who all have passed through our system. Now, the second thing that you have to remember, learn how to study with technology. And here at the Ray Gapper system, all our learning tools are published by world-renowned publishers. And we also have our own learning management system where you can access our QBank. And the good thing about this is that it's being updated on a monthly basis. Plus, we have a conducive environment for our classes with limited number of students. And we have our own next generation NCLEX RN simulation room. So may I invite you to join me in my next class. It's called the NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. The fee begins at 3,499, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank and three books, plus the strategies and sample questions from me and my team. And of course, you will be given the chance to join me in a quick fix session. You can attend to it as many times as you would want to. So one cycle would be three days and it starts from 8 a.m. usually up to 9 p.m. on those three specific days, okay? So once again, this is your mentor, your fuck check buddy, Ray Gapus, saying see you in the next video. And for those who are about to take the test, good luck and God bless. My prayers will be with you. Namaste.